What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, which means I get to finally record a video. I'm sorry that I don't record as much as I should or can, but I'm trying. So today is uh, a weekend, and for some reason every weekend seems to be raining lately, and it's the only time I actually get to go ride or go hang out with, with that one over there. Where is she? I didn't see her there. So, um, but I'm going to take advantage of today. We've got like a five hour window of no rain, so I'm going to ride. She's going to hang out by the pool. We're going to hang out a little bit more later. But I got some new forks for my bike. I'm going to put that together. I'm also going to go back to Cassette Hub because I hate the free coaster. Last weekend I busted my knee, smacking my knee on the uh, on my stem on my bike because that stupid play thing does this and I hit it. I'm just over it, man. I can't figure it out. I'm, I'm done. Two months is enough for me to figure out if I like it or not. So I'm going to put the old wheel back on and then I'm going to try to get a newer wheel that matches the front one. I need to put it back together. So let's do it. So I bought some premium taper light forks. They're were, I bought them really because they were super on sale. They're 100% chromoly, they're premium, so they're, they've got a really nice warranty as well, which is cool. And they're white, which means it matches my, my bars, which is awesome. And lastly, they're not cut. If you guys remember my, uh, my bike check video, these forks, I found out when I was putting my, this whole bike together, these forks that I've had for a long time, the previous owner that had them actually cut them down. So I wasn't able to use my fun little uh, spacer so I can raise it up a little bit more. But this should get me a little bit higher because the forks aren't cut, which is awesome. So I'm going to put this together first and then I'm going to take care of my old wheel, my old cassette wheel. It's a proper bikes wheel. I don't think they even make this thing anymore, but I'm going to rock this for a little while too. It's also a 10 tooth versus a 9 tooth, which is kind of cool, so it'll give me a better ratio. I'm going to rock this for a little while, and if I get used to riding cassette again, which I really didn't get used to riding a free coaster, then I will buy a wheel that matches the front wheel, which is the shadow hub and the whatever rim. You know what I mean. Anyways. By the way, these forks were like 40 bucks. They were normally like 100 or 120. From love. to go get a spacer because the forks are definitely longer than the last ones and the headset does not come with enough they should uh, come with at least one extra one of these man but hopefully that's enough right there once I put the bolt up top it should squeeze it down enough to I don't know man I'm gonna find out So, got the headset finally on the way it's supposed to be. Got the new forks on. They look really good. By the way, they're called taper light because if you notice, the bottom where it attaches to the wheel is a lot thinner than the top. Saves you on some weight, but I'm really excited about these because they have a really nice warranty too. So, from cases and everything. So, if you case it, they're just going to replace it, which is pretty awesome. New headset looks good. Shadow, I wish you guys would send an extra spacer if you guys ever even seen this video. Man, I miss that noise. And just for good measure, I'm gonna put a sticker on the head tube. This is a sticker of my clothing line that I'm starting, so you saw it here first. Mm -hmm. 
So I finally decided to go ride today. Had a little bit of lunch with Liz and of course it starts raining. I'm in my garage. I'm going to go ahead and put my bike in the car and I'm going to go anyways because it's kind of scattered. So I might get lucky and it dries up, whatever. I got to ride, man. I'm sick of this freaking rain every single weekend. It's the only time I get to ride. Really, really annoying. Seriously, man, I am so tired. So tired of this rain. Every, I kid you not, man. I know I'm ranting about the rain a lot, but it's like every freaking weekend. It just rains. It just rains every weekend. It's not necessary. In the middle of the week when I work, it doesn't rain. When I finally get a couple days off, actually this is like my only day off in 11 days. So I want to ride. I want to take advantage of it. So we made it to the Dalton Skate Park. This place has got a couple little fun little pyramid looking things. Some really fun ledges. Some really good looking rails. This is like the street section. There's some really nice little handrails down some stairs and stuff over here. There's Craig. Boop. And then over there, there's actual ramps. So it looks like there's like a quarter, another quarter. Some little fun stuff, man. This should be fun. Let's ride. Way too weird, backwards. So it's starting to rain, but I don't think it's gonna last long. I can't land this manual up this ledge thing. A little pyramid on the side. I can't land the manual. I can't get it right, right angle, man. I need to work on that a little bit too. So we have been sitting here for probably what, like 30 minutes maybe? Yeah, 30. About 30, 40 minutes or so. And um, the rain stopped, it started to dry out. We thought this crap behind us was gonna go parallel to us, but it like flipped around or something, it was weird. But there's nothing behind it, unless it does, decides to do some weird loop-de-loop -loop thing. This should only last like maybe another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll be able to ride again, hopefully. Oh, this rain. That was fun. All right, so it rained out on us here at the Dalton Skate Park. Kind of sucks, but I am, well, we're just gonna head home. We try to ride it out. Kind of a bust today. I only got a couple of clips and hope you guys enjoyed that at least. Sick. So I just got home and of course, it's not raining whatsoever, which is really, really annoying. It is what it is. I've got a lot of early shifts this week, which is nice, so I'll be able to record some more BMX videos, but for now I'm gonna hang out with Liz the rest of the night, or maybe watch some movies, figure out dinner. I kinda want some burgers. I'm just bummed, man. Look, it's, it's not raining here anymore, at all. So, I just finished putting the last of the shirts together in the bags from the last order I got for t-shirts. I want to talk to you guys about that real quick. So, I'm starting a clothing line. I'm not going to give too much away in this video yet because I kind of want to launch everything at once. But as of right now, I've got a couple new designs in stock. Um, here's a quick like sneak peek of what I've got going on here. So. The logo that you see at the bottom of your screen, like right here somewhere, that's the logo of the brand I am creating. Uh, the LI does represent something. I'm not gonna give that away either. I hate to be super mysterious, but I, I, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. So it's kind of a dream of mine. So I'm, I know I'm, I'm being weird about it and being super mysterious, so I apologize about that, but I just want everything to be perfect. If you've ever had something that you always wanted to do and you want the world to love it, you'd feel the same way as I do. So I am launching some t-shirts. I'm also launching like hats, um, women's clothing. I'm, I'm doing a I'm clothes, it's just clothes. It's think of Hurley or Roxy or Quicksilver or whatever. 
Think all those brands, that's actually what I want to do. Um, that's what all of that behind me is. I am funding it all by myself. Every company starts off somewhere, you know? Right now we have a one bedroom apartment. I'm doing everything in this apartment. I'm creating the YouTube videos on this table actually right here. Behind the camera is the iMac that I do some editing on as well as the MacBook that's sitting on the coffee table. And then we've got in the middle of our, our dining room is this shelf where all of my merchandise is gonna be. So so I'm really excited about it. It's coming soon, I promise. Hope you guys are excited as much as I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously, I really appreciate it if you stuck around this far. I hope you guys seriously like, I'm sorry it's kind of bright back here, but I hope you guys seriously like my stuff that's gonna be coming out soon. Video's not over, keep going. There's a couple more things left to go. This, I'm excited. I'm excited about all this. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, there's a the logo again. This is gonna be super awesome. I can't wait. All right, so we are gonna go pick up some dinner. We're gonna do burgers again. This is probably like the third vlog in a row that we are doing burgers, but I don't care. Yeah, that sticker's looking good right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got some burgers. We got some tomatoes and potatoes and the lizards. So we are on episode episode 12 of season three of The Americans. We're almost done. Show's getting really good. Comment below if you guys have seen the show and don't give anything away, please. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Good stuff, man.